Hey everyone, Sylvia here. I made a quick presentation on these two methodologies that are well known called progressive enhancement and graceful degradation. There are terms that are uh, used by web developers and designers and I know when I started looking into it more I realized wow these are pretty important methodologies to cover. Um, so in this presentation I basically simplify them down to the benefits and some example cases. Uh, again, there, there are books written on these topics um, and they cover it in greater depth. So uh, with that said, let's start the presentation. Progressive enhancement in a nutshell is a basic user experience that has cross compatibility uh, with different browsers and this is uh, beneficial in order to ensure stability uh, based on the end users experience on the website they're on or the application that they're using. From there they can have any improved features on um, sophisticated environments which basically means for example um, we can use feature detection on mod, uh, with the modernizer.js library. Um, and if the user has a certain feature that works on their browser, uh, we can enhance the site with it. If not, we might do nothing or fall back to an alternate method. But ultimately, what we don't want to give the end user is something broken. Progressive enhancement is great because it starts on a strong foundation and then it builds upon any specific feature requests on, on more sophisticated uh, environments. So the benefits of this is basically there's more accessibility. Uh, the H uh, HTML5 is semantic um, and architected in a way where screen readers can access the, the, um, the web page. Uh, it also improves the SEO, uh, which means that search engine spiders can um, index the web page much more uh, efficiently and accurately, as well as easier maintenance. Uh, the only downside I would say to uh, progressive enhancement is it takes a lot more time and planning to uh, really blueprint and architect the site that follows uh, this kind of methodology. So I'm going to show you an example case here. All right, so here's a uh, tab exercise that I uh, got off of uh, SitePoint Static, and I'll have that link down below so you can view it. But basically, this is a tab that is not only responsive when screen size changes, but it also works if JavaScript is disabled. I downloaded a JavaScript switcher that you can easily use to turn JavaScript on or off on your browser. Um, for me, I'm using Chrome and I already have it installed. So when I have JavaScript turned off, you'll see that there is absolutely no change in the UI of this page. And this page is also built for it to uh, work without any CSS. So um, this is just one example of having a site that is progressively enhanced. And I chose this exercise here because you can view the source code, which is uploaded on the sites. So now we're on to graceful degradation. And in a nutshell, this is basically a practice that provides an average level of user experience across browsers, but when it comes to the older browsers like IE, uh, there is a lower level of usability, which means that it gracefully degrades the user experience. And oftentimes, that um, developers will need to provide fixes or patches to um, make the uh, browser work on those older browsers. Here's a small diagram. It's basically the uh, upside down pyramid where an existing product is already established and built. 
and it basically degrades in the user experience based on the specific fixes that are implemented. So the benefits on graceful degradation, uh, although I don't personally use it too much, is that it's less work to implement a patch or fix. Um, however, that in turn requires more maintenance over time. Um, it's also useful if a team or a company does not have the time, budget, or the ability to switch the product to a progressive enhanced site, uh, as well as a website or app that's an edge case. Uh, for example, uh, working with enterprise legacy code, um, and you have the site being viewed by millions of people <laughs> of, and of, of people in a month um, of traffic, and it's really going to affect it being uh, under maintenance on a long period of time, you're not going to want to migrate over to a, a progressively enhanced site um, because it's just a very unique, um, specific edge case there. So here I'm going to provide an example in CodePin. So here's a very simple script that uh, works uh, with JavaScript enabled Let's go to chain of view, live view. And when I click on the button, it's showing, uh, you know, there's an error on this page, click OK or cancel. So um, if we were to have JavaScript turned off, there's a message here that says the page requires JavaScript to be enabled. So as you can see, if a user were to see this, uh, we would have worked around uh, for the user to be able to not exactly access the original feature that we set, but we are at least letting them know that hey, there that your you know JavaScript's turned off. Um, however, this is not the best way uh, to you know have visitors on your site <laughs> be told to, to turn on JavaScript because you know maybe they're on mobile or. They don't know what JavaScript is exactly. So from there, uh, you know, we can change this to be more user friendly. Um, maybe we can like, uh, let me just turn this back on. Have this instead be the message here. And, uh, Click OK to view this page, uh, and that just um, we can put like continue viewing this page or cancel to return to the home page, and the home page is code pen. Click here. And all right, so let's view that and turn JavaScript off. So then now our message is there was an error on this page. Continue viewing this page or Click here to return to the home page. Code pen is not work. All right, so that I hope helps you get, gain an idea of what graceful degradation means. I'll have this script uh, linked on my GitHub as well if you want to play around with it. So that's a summary of the difference between progressive enhancement and graceful degradation. Um, to help you remember it more, it really um, helped me just understand that progressive enhancement is about starting from simple and then making things more complex, whereas graceful degradation is about starting from the complex and then trying to simplify it, uh, you know, make it a more simplified user experience for the end user. 
Um, so these diagrams are just some visualizations that I created uh, to help you understand the difference between the two. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I uh, really uh, learned a lot just from creating this and explaining it. There are, again, very complex topics. Uh, there's books written on them. So I just really tried to simplify them and provide examples that would help. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up or subscribe, and I'll be creating more videos on Code and Tech. All right, talk to you then.